His four other brothers is little Jimmy, Wayne, Alan, and Jay. And if you give him a big hand, we're going to hear the resurrection shuffle. And this is a big night, and we're off, okay? Here they are. All right. And welcome. If you just joined us, uh, we've got the Osmonds here tonight. She's a little bit country, and he's a little bit rock and roll. And together, they're a whole lot talented. I'm, I'm speaking, of course, about superstars Marie and Donnie Osmond. Uh, it's been a delight to watch them grow up, and haven't they done it beautifully? Uh, together, they won the hearts of Americans in the world with the Donnie and Marie show, and through it all, they've just maintained their high principles, and they've given a new, fresh, and clean look to show business. Uh, in spite of all of that success, and all the attention that's been lauded on them, they still remain the two very lovely and down-to-earth people. And I'm really anxious for you to meet them in person. Here's Donnie and Marie, all right? Yeah. Hello, I, I tell you, we trained them for a long time in Did here. You? Yeah. Great. The other ones, the other ones, you've taken charge of. I hear the the concerts. First of all, I was surprised to find out today that the concerts are completely sold out everywhere. They told me. That. Well, we couldn't be happier. I tell you, we've we've wanted to come back for so long. It's been about five years. It's back in '75. Well, not for you though. You were here just. Well, a I was here years. last July in uh, Perth. I yeah. did the uh, Miss Universe. Universe. Right. Yeah. But we're so happy to be back. To be it's, back. 
it must just be fantastic. The reports on the show are absolutely unbelievable. I don't want to keep throwing things at you, but it's just been great, you know, really, really good. Thank We've you. We've had a wonderful time. It's, it's been terrific. As you can see, the audiences are fantastic. Yeah. We really are. All the girls have been commenting today. They've all been saying, oh, have you seen Marie's skin? Oh. <laughs> they keep talking about it. She's got the best skin. You know, it's like I'm supposed to walk up to you and not say you're beautiful. I'm supposed to look at you and say your skin is terrific. <laughs> like there isn't oh, anything else. You. Just, yes. Thank you. But the, you're into all of that beauty thing. We'll talk about that in a minute. I just want to talk. What about you two? Uh, has he, you being the, the little girl. Uh, the little uh, sister. The yeah. little sister. Um, was he protective towards you? Uh, well, I have eight brothers and I'm the only girl. Mm. And uh, yeah, you could say that they were protective. Mm -hmm. They, uh, I love it. I, uh, I love having, uh, I have eight older brothers. No, I have seven older brothers and one little brother, Jimmy. He's Jimmy, not yeah. so little anymore. But uh, it's great. I guess you could say they kind of spoiled me, you know, as I was growing up. Why did we spoil <laughs> <laughs> She's old enough now to make her, her own decisions for herself, so I'm not well, that protective. Well, thank you, Donnie. I'm not that protective, <laughs> you know. They used to be, not so much anymore. Were you protective but... about him before he got married? Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah. I think it works both ways. Mm. It, it was, it, was it a tough adjustment, married life, for you? or? Uh... No, it wasn't. It wasn't that tough. It, uh, it was something that I wanted. And uh, I found the uh, found a great girl. She's terrific. They knew each other for five years, and I, I watched the whole courtship as it went on and everything. And any comments? Did you give them any advice? They're or? both crazy. Is that <laughs> 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 what about the repartee between you two? Now, uh, when we watch the television show, we used to see you, you know, throwing lines back and forth. Naturally, a lot of that is scripted. But did a lot of that come out of real well, life? Well, a lot of it isn't scripted. Well, uh, yeah. What we did. On the, on the on Donnie Marie show, we'd learn the script, uh, the monologue or duologue, if you call it that, mm. uh, and we'd throw the script away, and then we'd say it the way we want to say it. Of course, you have the uh, the idiot cards or the cue cards, mm. but uh, we would say things the way we want to say it, and, and then, it's more natural and that way. And we'd rib each other back and forth and things like that. It wasn't very hard to rib him though, because everything he did was usually stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to have to watch myself the rest of the evening. I can yes, see that coming. Yeah. We have a good time together. We really do. Yes, it looks like you do. I was just I noticed the family today. Although Alan, uh, who sang over there before, will be out here a little. Well, he seems to be the one that cracks the whip a little bit. Well, he Alan is the oldest in the performing group, and yeah. uh, the oldest usually takes charge. Father oversees everything. Mm. He's the boss, and then. Uh, we come under Alan. Of course, starting so young in the business, uh, you know, you, you were exposed to big time show business, both of you, from a very young age. Uh, yes. Did it ever worry you? Was it ever nerve wracking? Did it ever, uh, were you ever hesitant about it? Were you ever saying, am I doing the right thing? Or is it just natural for you? Well, we weren't pushed in the business. I wasn't pushed in the business and Marie wasn't either. It was something that we wanted. Mm. And uh, there were only four uh, Osmonds in the original group and uh, we had to prove ourselves. We wanted to prove that uh, uh, we were good enough to be in the group, so I remember hours and hours I'd sit in front of the record player listening to Andy Williams' records, mm. trying to work on my voice and things like that. Finally, when I was three, I got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> it took a long time. <laughs> At three, you perfected Andy Williams' voice? That's, that's, that's wonderful, yes. How big an influence was he? Well, of course, you weren't in that Andy Williams era. I, I uh, did one Andy Williams show. I was three yeah. years old also. And I, uh, I danced with Andy and sang a song with him. Mm. But it didn't really appeal to me until later on. I was about, uh, well, I worked overseas when I was six and seven years old. And I sang Swedish and things over there, Japan. Mm. And uh, it didn't really appeal to me until I turned about 11 years old. And my little brother, Jimmy, got our first gold record for us in Japan. And I said, here's my little brother working. I said, this is ridiculous. And so I went back to Nashville and did Paper Roses, and that's when I started. Do you have a, I'm going to get in trouble for asking this question. Do you have a current boyfriend now? Uh, you. No, you don't. <laughs> I'm really going to start a rumor. No, don't. Don't, don't. <laughs> no, I'm having a good time right now. I'm, I'm just, uh, I have a lot of nice guys. I don't blame I you. If I looked like you, I'd have a wonderful time. <laughs> <laughs> But, the, but there isn't any steady uh, in, no, in Marie's life. No. No, no. I'm just enjoying my work and, and just do you having think, a good time. Do you think it would be difficult for Marie Osmond, uh, a young lady uh, successful, uh, I don't want to embarrass you, but successful, beautiful, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and talent and everything going for, oh, gee, I'll give you a little pile of sand, you could kick it. Oh, gee, where's guy? 
Yeah, but um, when, a, when a fella uh, <coughs> wants to approach you in a romantic manner, would that ever worry you about, um, would it worry him maybe about what he is? You know, I mean, you being so well known. Am I saying this right? No, oh, I think not. I am. No. <laughs> Over here. Okay. <laughs> no, what I meant was that, you know, being who you are, does that scare fellas off? Maybe that's a better way of putting it. I, I don't know. Would it scare, I don't, well? Would, would you be scared <laughs> off? I would. Uh, <laughs> no? I wouldn't trust this mob as far as I could throw them. Anyway. <laughs> um, the Beauty Secret book. You came out with this book. We talked about it on a satellite interview. Uh, yes. Yes. Does that include makeup and, uh, and... It was really a fun project. I had a really good time doing it. It took two years to write it and I wrote it. Mm. And uh, basically what it is is uh, a lot of girls have asked me questions about uh, makeup and hair and figure and fashion and, and things that I have learned uh, growing up in the business and working with some of the best people in the business mm. as far as those different areas. And so I sat down with uh, a lady who helped me uh, put it all together and I wrote it and we corresponded the whole thing together and came up with a book. It was just released in the States and it's out by Simon & Schuster. Mm -hmm. It's called Marie Osmond's Guide to Beauty, Health and Style. Well, I understand you can show us something about makeup if we wanted you to do it now. Is that right? Sure, if you'd like to. Do you have a makeup uh, arrangement here? Do you? Is this my oh, makeup? Okay. Yes. What do we need? Somebody to... Yeah, one thing. We'd probably need someone to try this on. To try this I on. I have mine on already. Well, hang on a minute. I'll see if I can get somebody on. Okay. Are you... Uh, you done. 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 I think, I think John's getting do you have somebody? Watch this. <laughs> You met Marie already on your radio. Hi, Marie. How are you? Yeah. You've got the most terrific skin. <laughs> <laughs> well, just sit down. Yeah, and I was just going to say the same thing. Thank you. Yeah. Can, I, can I help you? Crazy and hold about me. Crazy. <laughs> well, let's see here. Um, I guess basically what we'll start with is... Um, My skin? As far as makeup, you already have a base on. <laughs> well, I'm going out after the show. <laughs> What ladies like to do is they like to uh, make their face emphasize different bone structures, and basically. I don't think you'll find any bones on here. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, what you try to do is you try to um, de define the bone structures because basically every bone that you define in the face, it all uh, makes it all goes to the eyes to emphasize the eyes. Right. I okay. See. I don't believe we're doing this, yeah. but we'll do it. Is she allowed to touch Catholics? Yeah. <laughs> powder way right now because it's right. uh, it's really easy to do. Oh, isn't he pretty? Yes, yeah, very nice. <laughs> Let's see this we'll cheek. Try, we'll try this side. Yeah. Now what we're doing is we're taking his face since it's a little round, you know. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, it's all right. it's all right. She's she's really very nice, Bert. She, she doesn't mean it. I see. So by putting the dark there, you're emphasizing these cheeks, like it, and it looks like he's got sort of high cheekbones. High cheekbones. You have great cheekbones. Thank, Thank you. Very you. Much. <laughs> I need that. And what you what you do with with the powder is you take the dark and you build a darker, then you put the color, then you put the lighter, so it makes yeah. it look like. Well, what about the eyes? Do you do anything about the eyes? Okay. <laughs> like trying to find them. <laughs> you look up. Yeah. Oh no. I don't believe this. What do you mean? <laughs> Here we go. Okay, what you do is you, you want to make his eyes look good, uh, larger. Yeah. So we'll just put a little dark guy in there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I can tell you how silly you are. <laughs> no. The hair, the hair! <laughs> Donnie, would you do me a favor? Yes, okay. Would you get these out and start putting some of this on it, okay? Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> Those are fake, those are eyelashes. Oh my god, you're so bright. Okay, look at that. Hey, Maria. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Wait till the boys at Fitzroy get a look at you tomorrow. <laughs> you got it real still. Sure. There we go. Okay. 
go. Yeah, don't move around. It's going to okay. be very good. Yes, I think this will be wonderful. We're trying to hurry here a bit. That's all right. No, you don't have to worry, Marie. We've got plenty of time. That's all right. Okay, we'll give you a little eye there. All right. <laughs> look at the way your, your eyes are coming up. Well, look at that. You look like a silent... <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're gonna, since your eye has a little bit of an overlap, overlap you know, okay, close your eye. He said, first, what if I have first, first enough by night? No, no. <laughs> first, the only guy I know that has bags on top of his eyes. You know, <laughs> it's the way I sleep. <laughs> Pretty. Oh, wow. What color is it, Don? <laughs> your favorite, puce. This is kind of, <laughs> this is kind of a um, real natural color. It's kind of a plum brown color. Okay? Oh, beautiful. It'll get in my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is plum brown. It's very okay. lovely. Yeah. Do, you need more, do you need more glue on that? No, that looks good. Okay. okay. I'd like, to, I'd like everybody to notice how well Donnie put the glue on the eyelashes. Hey, hey, no, hey, that's hey, all. hey, Only hey. for me. Only for me. Okay. For, only for, okay. Only. All right. Now, yeah. what we're going to do. Right. Give me this one. Oh, this will be wonderful, Bert. <laughs> this, I'm going to get Marie out here for the next Logie Awards. Okay. My wife is one. And here's another one to do those off. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. And hold them right. Okay. Yeah. Are you still there? Yeah. Okay, give me oh. the other one. Yeah. There's the other one. Oh, Bert. Oh, Bert. Marie, I, Marie. Listen, does it, it feel like it's... The hair, Marie, the hair. <laughs> <laughs> now, with eyelashes, you put them clear out to the end. You don't necessarily put them all the way into the eye. It depends on the eye, whether your eyes set out or in. So right. Eyes oh, are these are the bottoms, are they? Yes. Oh, hey, what are we doing now? I think... <laughs> don't worry about it. It'll be all right. you mind if I blow on you? Huh? There we go. All right, now look up. <laughs> okay, look clear up. Oh. There you go. I can't believe it. He's starting to look like Tony Curtis. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. Bert, you should do this all the time. I do. <laughs> I don't tell you everything. Okay. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't put too much glue on it. Yeah, a little bit. You're having trouble with that eye? Yes. Well, sh should I take it out for you? <laughs> no, that's it. Do you? There we go. Well, well, just the bottom one. Now, there. the white will dry clear, so you won't okay. see it. Okay. Okay. And we'll put the last one on here, and then we'll get a good close up look at Bert, and then we'll go away for a commercial break, because okay. you two are going to sing a song for us, I hear. Yeah, I'd love All to. right. Not you, oh, Donnie yeah. and Marie. Of course, you need them. Yeah. Oh, we just. Donnie, don't worry. Donnie, do this. Donnie, do what? No, do this. Do what? Look up. Oh, I Look see. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, it's going to be a two-person operation here. If you've just tuned in, I fell apart at the start of the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay, That's now, good. It, this is part of Marie. I think we need a real close-up there, just into the lens, and let's have a look. Oh, very <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's time to hear uh, those two people sing. Uh, I get a lot of delight out of watching these two perform. And uh, like I said into our studio audience before, I'm sorry I'm not ignoring the people at home, but the more you get into what Donnie and Marie are about and what they're doing, the better time we're going to have, okay? So it's all up to you. You at home, you just have a look at all of this because it's all going to happen. Here's Donnie and Marie and Jump Shout Boogie. Let me hear. Yeah. <laughs> Sun was going off the wall, they had to lift their spirits high. For Uncle Sam, motherhood and apple pie. Instead of spending money that they didn't have. Hot 
Keep it going, keep it going a second. Do you want to have some fun? Do you want? Yeah. Hey, Don, we're going to change things a little, little around a little bit, okay? Oh, is that okay? Can we involve the audience? Whatever you want. You got it. All right? Yeah. Is that okay? Can you all hear us? Yeah. Okay. We're going to divide the audience in half, okay? Okay. This is your half. All right. Right down here. This is my half. We're going to see who can be the loudest, okay? Are we going to beat them? Okay, just my section. Everybody snap your fingers. Snap your fingers. Really loud. Here we go. All right. All right, let's see you beat that. All right, you ready for this? Snap your fingers, okay? Use both hands. All right, come on. Good. They're pretty hot. We can't let them beat us, okay? All right, clap your hands. Every time you clap your hands, say, hey, 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 hey. Woo! Yeah, let's see. They sound that. pretty good. All right, you ready? Hey, 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 Side one, right? wondering was when you do when you said you were going to do a number for us I thought you were going to do something where you worked <laughs> I think my side won my side won. Won. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think you both won I'm really happy about all of that you know yeah they were terrific we uh, we're gonna bring um, uh, Jimmy out in just a minute now let me establish a couple of things about Jimmy first before okay. he comes out here okay uh, I was interested to find it. It seems to be uh, the age of three is the magic number amongst the uh, the Osmonds. Yeah, right. Jimmy made his so business. He made his debut on the Andy Williams show at the age of three, age of three. as well. That's yeah. right. And so did you, right? That's right. Yep. Okay. By seven, Japan had voted him the number one male vocalist. That's right. right. We were there too. And today he's on the verge. Now I don't say he is because I've talked to him and I really don't want him to know that I know. But he's on the verge of being a heartthrob. 
<laughs> now I tell you, they are following this kid everywhere. <laughs> and not only that, but I think he's going to be taller than the whole lot of them. He's taller than me right now. Yeah, well, that's not difficult. But you see... Oh, hey, you're doing good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Am I on your side now? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I think it's a good it's idea if we, if we greet him as well. <laughs> it's Jimmy Osmond. Okay, come on. I was teasing about what I said before, but uh, it is true. He is starting to become a heartthrob, is he not? That's true. The magazines oh. are picking him up now, and there's screaming girls after him. And, yeah. and he well, loves it. And he loves it. <laughs> <laughs> One thing, though, you forgot to tell the stagehands that I've grown. Oh, what, because of the short bite? Right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You're, gonna talk. You're a businessman in your own right, they tell me. You're, what, what is it? You own a restaurant in Provo, Utah, and, uh, and it's called, what, Jimmy's? Yeah. What kind Original of Original name, right? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of a restaurant is it? Uh, it's a greasy spoon of Provo, Utah. No, it's really fast food. <laughs> very fast food. Yeah, too. very fast food. You it's give good. it the food before they even order it. <laughs> <laughs> what made you want to, uh, to have a fast food restaurant? Are you one of those fast food persons? Uh, well, I don't know. It's my, uh, my family's always inspired me to, to, to try to develop my talents and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I've just, you know, the opportunity came along and I just... Uh, did it, I guess. I used to cook for all my brothers. I used to chain up the refrigerator and make them pay for the food. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. 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 That is. yeah. And you cook, what's your best, what's your best meal? Eggs. Eggs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you pick something really classy. Yeah, right. <laughs> don't eggs. Write this. Eggs. You live at home uh, with your parents. Uh, all the single boys, did Yeah, did Marie you? lives there. I yeah. live at home still. Right. My brother Jay and Jimmy. Yeah. Is it, uh, is that of, of your own choosing or is that because that's the way you think it should be in the family life uh, absolutely we've been asked quite a bit why we why we still live at home because we could have our own apartment or whatever mm -hmm. and uh, we have a very good relationship with our parents and I would I would hate to think that I'd move away from home and miss out on some of these terrific years with them mm -hmm. uh, they're hysterical sometimes we stay up till four in the morning and have water fights and chase yeah, each other all over the house, around the house. <laughs> And I just love the relationship that I have with them. And we think that's one thing that really ought to be instilled in families a little bit more. And that's communication not only between the, the children, mm. but between the parents with the children. Our parents and give us a lot of uh, free agency and uh, freedom. And uh, it's terrific because, because, of, because of that, uh, we feel an obligation for them and to mm. them and a love that uh, is terrific. And Don, you know, it's such a great foundation to, to fall back on when, when you've got some problems in life. And to have family. To have a strong family. family you can fall back the on. The family thing is disappearing uh, a lot today. Uh, well, it seems that way, but it's, that's really not true. There, there no, I, don't, I, wouldn't mean, I didn't mean personally amongst you. I meant just in general. It seems like it seems to be well, falling yeah, off as less and less family things, but yours is such a strong bond. You can tell it is. You can tell it is when you're in here. You can see the way you all relate to each other. You know, it's Thank like, you. what do you do with your leisure time? Uh, I date. <laughs> you, you do? <laughs> you both, oh, hi, this is Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I do everything normal kids do. I go out and golf and uh, yeah. play tennis. Got a car? Yeah, 280ZX, I love it. I'm going to get some sheepskin uh, seat covers for it. Here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they, they keep you really cool. 20% that, yeah. cheaper here, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they, he's a businessman. Yeah, right. They tell me you're into flying, but not really flying. It's sort of model airplane flying, is that what it is? Yeah, it's a hobby that I picked up. Um, my brother Jay and myself, we, we play around with radio-controlled airplanes. I've crashed quite a few of them, too. Uh -huh. Do you compete with those? Like, uh, I notice... Uh, a lot of people do. I'm not that good yet, but... Yeah. Uh, a lot of people have dog fights and they, uh, they uh, blow each other up. It's fun. What about being the youngest one in the family? Uh, did, did, were you able to learn from their uh, mistakes or whatever they went through or not? The, the... Well, it has a lot of advantages. Um, let's see. <laughs> no, it's, I had a lot of great examples to follow. I've had uh, eight brothers, no, seven brothers and one sister. Mm -hmm. And they've been terrific examples. And one thing that's really nice about it is they always let you voice your opinion. And I think that's important. 
And, uh, and uh, do they listen to you when you voice your opinion? No. That's more important. No, they no, never no, listen. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we have good communication. Mm. Yeah. And what do you want to be now? Now you're going into the recording studio. I want to be a cement layer. Do you? <laughs> well, we can fix no. you up right here if you want to. You're going back in the recording studio. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to come back with a band. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be Your own band or, or the family band? No, your no own. our own. My yeah. own. And I'm going to go back and uh, bring out some new sounding records. And I'm excited about them. I really am. Mm. Jimmy's very modest. He's very talented. And not only does he have his own restaurant and things like that, but he's also very good at graphics and design. He's mm. designed quite a few album co covers. He's I designed, designed hers, my newest yeah. one. And, uh, designed the album cover. He designed yeah. the album really? cover. Really? And Fantastic. he's done quite a few other people's uh, things, but he's very, very, very talented. They tell me, now we've got a set up over here. They tell me if I make some sort of a squiggle on this thing that you can draw something around that. Uh, is well, that right? Well, I'll put it this way. I'll try. <laughs> Will you? Yeah. Let's go over here and have a look. Okay. Come on, Jimmy, come with me. You two will have to wait here for me. Oh, That's right. okay. We'll just okay. chat. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get in a side. Now, what kind of a mark do I have to make here? Anything at all? Or? Yeah, just squiggle, but make it easy. Just, you know, round. I don't know how to make a hard squiggle. I have no... <laughs> there you go. Okay, a squiggle, huh? Okay, I'll make... Uh, no, the other side. This way. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Very good at that, Doc. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy, you make hard squiggles. <laughs> Is that a hard squiggle? See, I don't know the difference between a hard squiggle and no. an easy squiggle. Just Bert. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you make. I think that's the end. Wait a minute. Let me get some. Let me get some of this more. Okay. Who wants to come up? Come on. Come on, somebody. Put this. We could right. come up. I just want you to come up here and you can stand next to Jimmy there and everything and get... Don't you think he's, he's very handsome? No. Jimmy, what's your name? Sharon. Hello, Sharon. You can sort of turn around so people have a look at you, Sharon. Let's hear it for Sharon. Okay. All right. Oh, boy. Uh, you, you can go sit down now, Sharon. We'll, uh, Thank you, Sharon. We'll, we'll handle your squiggle over here, Sharon. Let's see. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> At you too. Oh. <laughs> ah, you know, Marie. All bald. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Jeff Harvey. <laughs> Actually, kind of looks like you, Don. No, that <laughs> Anyway. I think that's great. Let's go. Listen, we're going to take a break. When we come back, you're going to see more of the family, and mother and father Osmond are going to be here as well. How about a hand for Jimmy? We'll be back in a minute. I have to show you, uh... Jimmy came in today, and he had about a two-minute look at Bert and I, and then he went away, and he, and, he, and he did this, all on his own. But have a look. I mean, you, you would know right away who that was, wouldn't you? No, you wouldn't? I mean, that's Bert, that's isn't great. it? That's me. Well, at least you got... Wait a minute. There's two questions. The first question is, how come he got Bert's hair perfect on the first shot? Uh -huh. and the second question is, why have I got holes in my shoes? <laughs> <laughs> Prophecy of things to come. Uh, I think it would be a good idea if uh, we had the opportunity to meet the two very, very lovely people. Uh, the first time I ever spoke to them or I ever even saw them in my whole life was when uh, we did the satellite interview uh, a month ago, a month and a half ago, whenever it was. And we got a chance to talk to Mother and Father Osmond, two delightful people who... Uh, <coughs> set this whole thing in motion with this family of theirs and uh, sort of set an example for the world as well, I think. So I think it would be really nice if we got together and gave a great greeting. Will you to George and Olive Osmond here? Come on.
Yeah, two people. Gonna... They have children and they get a standing ovation. I don't know what that's a big deal is, you know. How are you anyway? Oh, wonderful. Fine. Dog. Lovely to see you. Really lovely to see you. Does this traveling ever get to you? You travel everywhere with the kids, don't you? It's been about 23 years now. I've been yes. on the road. Mm -hmm. Well, you must love it. I mean, oh. you, you must love being on as the road. As long as we're together, we're happy. Mm. That's about all we know, Don. <laughs> yes. What did you do before you started to have children? Uh, well, I'm, I'm a first love. <laughs> you, you, uh, I, I'm a real estate man by, uh, in my business, first right. love, mm -hmm. and insurance, right. and so I, I worked for you. And you were a secretary. <laughs> well, you were the one that started playing the piano all the time, and uh, is that right? You were uh, playing the piano? And... I used to play the saxophone in a little dance band before I was married, and mm -hmm. after I was married for a little while. And he's the one they get the voice from, oh. though. He loves to sing. It's all her fault, Norm. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> we love music, and we love having a lot of fun. And yeah. I mean, life is serious enough. You might as well have a little fun as you go along. Well, I, I reckon that's true. Yeah, I wouldn't go against that. What about, let me ask you some personals. Now, don't, I'm not trying to really probe. I'm just trying to find out some things. Who are the scallywags? Now, there had to be some among <laughs> them. <laughs> Which one, which one? I'm recalling a scene in California of Donnie and Marie. <laughs> uh, they stole my jewelry and buried it in the backyard and then couldn't find it. That's just one episode. <laughs> we were playing pirate, I guess. <laughs> well, why don't you tell them about the other thing that we did with the, uh, your clothing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the peanut butter. Your, oh. All your clothes. I was hanging so out. So many that she can't remember. Too many. <laughs> hanging out clothes one day. I came in the house and it's too quiet, you know? Mm. So I heard a little rustle in the bedroom, and there the two of them are with their hands in the peanut butter, going all over their clothes and the walls <laughs> and the bedspread. <laughs> so I hurried up and got the movie camera because I knew one day they would never believe me. Unless I, I have that on film. You do? I do. Well, how come I don't have that film? I would love to see it. <laughs> a, That's a, in a deep, a dark peanut place. A peanut-covered Donny Osmond. A peanut-butter-covered Donny Osmond. <laughs> the educational process this must have been pretty difficult I mean uh, with the with all the kids entertaining and moving around on the road how did you cope with that well we uh, we tried public schools for a little while but it just was too demanding when in, down in Los Angeles where we try to well you can't please two masters mm. the school board and a private tutor right. so we eventually went with correspondence courses and set up our own school Mm. Which works very well. My mother uh, comes from a whole line of school teachers, and we had a lot of schooling that way, as well as uh, correspondence and private tutors. Do you think your mom was a, a, a stricter teacher than uh, perhaps maybe a teacher would have been? Uh, oh, um, we had get, teachers. I, I imagine you get away with a lot less with your mom. I mean, you can lie to a teacher, but no. you can't lie to your mom. <laughs> right. We had well, a lot of teachers. When so. we were doing the Donnie Marie shows, for example, I was underage. I was a minor. Donnie was also, and we had our tutor there on the set with us. We had. Uh, it wasn't like you walk to a class and socialize. It was like uh, three hours of concentrated work, then you'd have a break, and then you'd go back into concentrated study. And I graduated a year early because of it, because uh, you could move at your own pace. You couldn't move slow, but you could move as fast as you want. But, Don, you were right when you said that uh, the mother was strict as far as schooling. Both of our parents were, because they really believed in education. As a matter of fact, I learned how to read and, uh, and write before I went to school, so they skipped me up to the second grade. I skipped it's kindergarten first. It's a very first. disciplined thing. You have to know, and they knew that they had to get it this way or else forget show business mm. because they had to graduate from high school. I'd like to insert a thought. The Los Angeles School Board has a very good system. It is a good system. And so we had our correspondence on top of their system, which made it very, mm -hmm. very good. Yes. Wayne put himself through trigonometry without a teacher. Is that right? And <laughs> <laughs> you want to know something else about Wayne? He's, yeah. he's a pilot, okay? He got his pilot's license before he got his driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, well, I, boy, I hated to I drive with him. I too. That was the worst experience that ever happened to him. You know, here I am, barely 17 years old, and that's the minimum age you can get. Just barely turned 17. Got my pilot's license before I could. My mother would drive me to the airport so I could fly three or four hundred miles, <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then come back. And then I'd have call my mother, and she'd come get me, which is a three-mile trip to home. You know, yeah. and so. I said, well, this is ridiculous. I'm going to get my driver's license. So I said, ah, if I can get a pilot's license, it's easy to get a driver's license. So I go, and I, and I go to get my driver's license, and I fail. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, on right away, you know, and I turned right in front of someone darn near, ruined our car. Well, the <laughs> is allowed above the ground. That's it. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. No place else to go. Yeah, were you born in Utah? No, I was born in Idaho. He was born in Wyoming. I was born up by Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I'm a cowboy. 
You are? Really, I am. Yeah. Which, yeah, yeah. Well, like to be. <laughs> you, uh, well, no, I have a ranch, a cattle ranch. Uh -huh. the, uh, it isn't a paying proposition, but it's a lot of fun. It's <laughs> 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 an escape. <laughs> did you go to, they did, did it for me. Did I, you, I appreciate it. Did you go to, to, to Utah because of the Mormon community there? No, he was in the service over in England for about three years, came back to get a job there. Right. That's where I was working. I guess that's and how important is the Mormon thing to you? I always hear talk about this. We had a 60 Minutes documentary on you, too. You, you may have remembered uh, right. George Negus from here when I was doing the documentary. And we talked, they talked about all of that. But. It's a way of life. Mm. A seven day a week way of life. Yes. A lot of people say, well, are you Mormons because your parents were Mormons? And uh, I say, well, yes, that probably influenced us a great deal, but I still consider myself a convert because I have studied all the major religions for about 35 years now, and mm. I can't find anything to equal it, to be honest with you. you. My research has said something about you starting your own church, uh, or you are part of your own church. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Was it something that said, oh, maybe there's enough of you to have another branch. I don't know. Maybe. It's, um, I, don't, I don't know. And there's one, other, there's one other very important question I'd like to ask. What have you got written on your hand? My hand? Yes. I have some some makeup and stuff on there. There was a word on there. Is it is it a Q or something? No, what is it? Oh, this right yeah, here. It says yeah. lift. We we switched the words to the song, <laughs> and we did it. And since it's live, they, I came here like uh, 30 minutes before the show. Yeah, we and, always do that. And well, he hand always up, says, so Marie, you take this part, and I'll take this part, and you take this part." Oh, yeah, no, so let me see. Just a minute. It says lift. Look. <laughs> uh, we do that all the time. Like uh, we were, we were performing in uh, like. You bang write the lyrics on your that's head. That's how we. That's how we got to half we the go, Donnie we, Rishas. We, we'd be in, uh, <laughs> in Bangkok, you know. Like we, we'd uh, we'd have some lines to say in the language. Yeah. We say hello there. <laughs> Sign language. Uh, you know, when we have to say something. Our two older brothers are deaf. And so we learned the sign language. Yeah, and they oh. taught us the sign language, and it was really funny one day. There was these people across the street um, talking. We couldn't, we couldn't uh, hear what they were saying, and we asked Tommy to read their lips. You know, he was deaf. He could really read lips, and he said, we said, what did they say? He says, I'm not going to tell you. I <laughs> can <laughs> <laughs> always hear that. Well, let me, uh, I want to do a little plug here. This is something, it's the first time this has been announced, and let me tell you about this now, and we'll have to discuss this. Uh, there was an, uh, uh, an Osmond's, uh, uh, it's called the Osmonds in Concert, and it's a TV special. And I understand that this was done in your home state, in, right. uh, in Utah, mm -hmm. is that right? And yeah. you expected 10,000 people to show up at this concert, but what showed up? 26. 40, well, 40, well, it was 46. 46,000 46, 46, people you worked in front of. We were originally okay. going to do one concert with, to 10, and uh, the response was so nice that we did two concerts for 46. For 46. OK, well, this whole thing was recorded. And it is an exciting night. I understand all of the things that you do are there, plus a little bit more, I guess. There's uh, fireworks and smoke and horses and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, wonderful night. Anyway, it's the Osmonds uh, in Concert, it's called. It's a TV special. It's going to be on next Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. in Melbourne and Sydney. I would advise you not to miss it. It's a heck of a show. How many is in the cast? Is it... Uh, is cast of thousands. Yes. <laughs> all Osmonds. All Osmonds, yes. But. All, all Osmonds, or future Osmonds, they could be as well, with all the single people. Anyway, I, I want you, I would really advise you to watch that, uh, <coughs> that television special. It is an event, and you will love it. It's on 7.30 next Wednesday night. Just one other question. That, uh, they're signaling me here because you fellas are going to uh, do a song with me or something, but I want to ask you... We talked on the satellite. You said you'd do a number with us. That's right. We want to well, do I, I want to do that. I want to ask you one question before we do it. You had some bad press in England. Yeah. The, it, it, the word even got here that there was bad press in England. Yet, you arrive in this country, and you do, you're doing more concerts than you intended to do here, and you're completely sold out. Yeah. Now, someone said to me this afternoon, it was exactly the same situation in England, and nobody can understand about the bad write-ups in England. Well, now, without you sounding like you're <coughs> copping out or making an excuse, what happened? Well, as long as they spell our name right. Let it's, it's, <laughs> good advertising. It's been a great tour. It's been like that pretty much all over the world, and it was mm. great in... I sang too hard last yeah. night, that's what's wrong. <laughs> but it's, uh, we've had great success all over, and it was not reported properly. Mm. And, uh, but that's passed, we don't care. Like we say, as long as they spell our name right. Mm -hmm. but, the um, audiences <clears throat> were there, the audiences great. were the ones that saw it, and they were yeah. fantastic. We and, had beautiful audiences. And uh, that's all that matters. I've seen you guys perform on any number of occasions, and there ain't no way you ever do a bad show. <laughs> anyway, you're going you're gonna to teach me this uh, yeah, song. Well, okay. teach yeah? well, Excuse us for a minute, Mother and Father. Yeah. We're going to go over here and... Uh, Okay.
Okay. Okay. Let me stand right over here. Take this one. Okay. Now, tell me what we're going to do here. So we just, we, mm. you just follow everything we do, okay? Is this yeah. the way you wear this? <clears throat> yeah, just yeah. stick it on your first, first of all, you got to get in the right place. Yeah. In a, okay. We're down all a right. little bit further here, Don. Down there. All right. There you go. No. Yeah, so, exactly. to the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, just follow oh. everything we do. Follow everything you do. Follow right. everything we do. Okay. It's a song okay. called I Want a Girl. Oh, I know that. You know it? Yes. <clears throat> ready, Don? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm ready. I want a good old fashioned girl. Uh, Now, wait a minute. Now, Marie, you, you're going to do uh, the wheel with me. It's going to be Don, Don and Marie's wheel tonight. Hey, all right. Don, Donnie and Marie. Donnie, Donnie uh, and Marie. If I could be Donnie and Marie, uh, <laughs> you and I will do the wheel together, and it'll be terrific. I'll, I'll teach you how to do the wheel. Tell me what? Just Donnie and Marie's wheel. We're all just going to do the, the wheel for me. The wheel tonight? Yeah. Don, I've been doing that wheel with you now for almost <laughs> six I mean, I love Marie, and I love all the Osmonds, and, but that's my wheel. <laughs> I know, but they are, they're, they're sort of a special guest. They just, they, I'll they... tell everybody about your immigration problem. <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want her to do the wheel? Well, what happens if I don't let her do the wheel? Well, then you'll probably never work on the show again. Good luck on the wheel, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be all right. Okay, no. You and I will do the wheel. I'll teach you how to do the wheel, okay. and it'll be fine. Right. Listen, we want to try a little experiment. Uh, What's that? I want you to go back with a little technique in something Australian. Now, they don't really know about this, and I don't even know how it's going to work out. We've got a gentleman here. Uh, I just want you to, to, to greet him. Give him a hand. Just say hello to him. These are the Osmonds. This is John Moriarty. Okay. Now, John, uh, we had a, you have no idea how hard we had to search tonight to find someone who could play one of these instruments. Now, first of all, John, it's a didgeridoo. 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 Yes. Now, I think you ought to just a, can you give us a quick explanation, John, about the the sort of history of the didgeridoo, where it comes. It's from. an Aboriginal instrument. Okay. And uh, it comes from the northern part of Australia only, and it's usually made out of a hardwood, which is a eucalypt. And Aborigines are a non-materialistic people uh, with, uh, in a modern sense, low technology, I suppose you could say. And people ask, how do they hollow such a, an instrument out? We say, it's very natural. We, have a, a, we just picked a tree and it's uh, done by white ants. <laughs> so, so if you want to pick a good didgeridoo tree, you go and cut the bark low like that and just tap it. And if it's the right sound, it's the right instrument. Mm. Yes. Now, can you can you show us some uh, some just some rhythm patterns there? It's a difficult instrument to play in, in one sense. Um, you have to keep a column of air moving continuously down the didgeridoo, 
but breathe in through your nostrils at the same time. So um, it wow. takes a little bit of practice, and uh, I'm not what you call an, an expert, a top expert, uh, but uh, we get by. <laughs> I'll give you a little bit of a okay. demonstration. Have a, there are, there's that one rhythm pattern. Aren't there certain rhythm patterns that you get into for different? Then what are those loud clicking noises you hear lots of times? There, no? there are dozens of patterns of, of the rhythm, and uh, it's very very complex. Depending what songs you sing, what ceremony you you perform in, uh, and that uh, governs the uh, the rhythm. But the clicking sound that Don was talking about <laughs> is the uh, the sticks, and I haven't got any here tonight, but. Um, Sometimes done with a couple of boomerangs, but uh, usually with two very hard wood sticks, and that gives a, a very high pitched uh, uh, resonance sound. Okay, let's give the boys give the boys each one now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Will you do me a favor? Show me how you put your mouth without blowing into it. Um, I'll do it without the didgeridoo first. And it, you vibrate your lips and have a soft column of air moving down. <laughs> That's basically it. Really? You know how silly I feel. <laughs> Tim has got it already. I can't read through my nose. <laughs> Sounds like a whole bunch of ships leaving. Wait a minute. I can't. <laughs> A woman is not allowed to play a didgeridoo. Not everybody? No, a, no, woman, a woman is oh. not allowed to play a didgeridoo. Oh, I'm Neither... so glad. <laughs> <laughs> Neither are you allowed to leave it standing up like that. It must be always laid down on Why a is flat. That? That's part of the custom. Oh, I see. That's see just part can, of the law. See if you can do sort of a pattern and then see if you can follow the pattern. Okay. Right. See if you can do it, all right? Let's we'll see what we can get. a little softer, All right. otherwise you, you get rid of too much air and you lose your uh, rhythm pattern. Sure. You fellas will never play this <laughs> right. How about thanking our friend for coming and doing the show today? Thank you. Hey. We got presents. These are these are Australian. You only get these here. Hang on, these are rug boots. Rug boots. Yeah. This must be yours, the small ones. Hug boots. They're perfect. They, they make them here in Melbourne and, and they're perfect for you. Oh, absolutely. It's go, they go so elegantly with a gown. <laughs> there you go. I'm sorry, we don't have any for you. Oh, that's I'll give you mine. I love it! <laughs> oh, gosh, they're comfortable. I told you. When you get back to your, what? I'm a little short. <laughs> yeah. So am I, about eight or ten thousand dollars. Uh, are they good? Okay. 
while you adjust the, I want you to wear those for the rest of the evening. While you adjust the, your Uggs, what you want to do, what's that for? Undone and Marie's wheel. Tonight you could win this exciting new Toyota Corolla manual hot top valued at around $6,800 on the road. Your new Toyota comes to you with the compliments of Pit Stop Motors of South Yaddis and Kilda and Elstonwick, one of Australia's leading Toyota dealers. And Pit Stop Motors want your business. Discover the pleasures of the Pacific's best kept holiday secret with this seven day holiday for two in Madang. Fly Air New Guinea's Bird of Paradise jet to Madang, the South Pacific, the way it used to be and $1,000 cash from the manufacturers of the fabulous Linda range on quality electric blankets and products. Guaranteed for five years, sleep wonderfully with Linda. And three of the Australian bullion company's convenient half-ounce run ingots, 99.99% pure gold, valued at approximately $1,000. All right, love you. How about welcoming Marie? This is Donnie and Marie's real today. Uh, Bert and I usually just have a little chat here about what have we been doing, you know, and so forth. What have so. you been doing? No, I usually ask you. <laughs> See, because I've been out here all night. You, you know what I'm doing. I want to know what you're doing. <laughs> well, we, uh, we had a lovely time tonight. We had the Osmonds in. Oh, really? Yes. What are they yes. like? Oh, they're lovely people. Really? Yes. Brother, a lot of people don't realize this. Beautiful. One of the Osmonds couldn't make it on the tour. This is the other brother. Uh, you know your sister? Yeah. Uh, I love my sister. Do you? I really love her. <laughs> I love her so much I can't tell. No. Her. <laughs> All of the other Osmonds seem to speak very well. You sort of have a, a slight impediment. Is that... That's why I don't make many comfortable appearances. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why well, not in the act? Yeah, accent. that's right. Yes. How, yeah. do, how do you talk with them? <laughs> <laughs> very carefully. Yeah. What's it say? I'm a little bit country. I'm a little bit. <laughs> I'm a little bit. <laughs> I'm a little bit country. And you're a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Oh. Right. Yeah. I love my pit. <laughs> I also love a sunburned country. I love a sunburned country. <laughs> that isn't it. What is, what is your name, actually? Are you, are you the Osmond we've never heard of? Yes, I'm the... I'm the very little man up in the... <laughs> I'm, I'm not having a bad you, but Roger can't talk with them. I, uh, I'm, I'm not very well known. <laughs> I'm the only Catholic in the family. <laughs> yes, but, uh, other than Terrible, this... they don't pay me and they belt me and everything. <laughs> Well, I mean, I've heard you speak, and I would, too, if I was on yeah. it. Oh, well. Yes. I always say, I'll be very poor of grace, and the Mormons are in second place. Do you usually serve towels with your showers? I'm sorry. I love my fish, but really. <laughs> well, all right. Let's see. Marie, who's our first contestant? You tell Let's me. Let's see here. Our yeah. first contestant is Brian Keasley. Right. From First Chapel Street. Do I say all this? That's, that's one Town. Chapel Street, Thomastown. Thomastown, Victoria. You got it. Say hello there. Hello. just kissed a hello and she said, I love my sister. <laughs> He's very fun, I love him. <laughs> well, you can stand up here too. It's oh, okay. It's a wheel. I mean, you can help me what, what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I don't, I don't want to. You can, you can sort of guide her. In. Oh, hello, Brian. How are you? Good, thanks. What do you do for a living, Brian? I'm a minor mechanic. Uh, really? Yeah, where? At Myers. Hmm. You look like you'd be a footballer or something. Do you play football? Yeah, I play football, but not real well. <laughs> well, a lot of us do a lot of things and we don't do it real well, you know. No crime. Look at Bert. <laughs> you, play, you play football? Yeah. And what, you play it very well? <laughs> you don't play it very well. No. I get you a game at Melbourne. <laughs> I didn't mean it, by the way. No. Melbourne's no football club. The football team I follow here that doesn't win anything anymore. Oh. You know, so not, not really good. Well, are you excited meeting Marie? Is there anything you'd like to ask Marie? I don't know. I think I'd just like to get... <laughs> just like to what? 
Get it over and done with. <laughs> Get it over and done with. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I, don't, I don't blame Is you. football the same here as it is in the States? Football, it's nothing like is the same here as it, it is in the States. Or? It's uh, this, this football that they play here, is, uh, it's different. Yeah. That's, that's good. They yeah. call it aerial ping pong. <laughs> Excuse me, what do they call it? Aerial ping pong. <laughs> Like <laughs> <laughs> <That'd> <laughs> But Brian, it's very nice of your mum to lend me this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brian, are you are you single or you married? Single. You are. Uh, well, How old are you? No, nine. You nineteen? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 20. 20? That's what? all right, I like younger men. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what number do you want to start on? Uh, six, please. Number six, okay, you put it on number six. Put so it on number six. How number do I do this? Just spin it right. around. That's it. That's it. Now you go over there, Brian. Right. And give it a big spin, and we hope you can win the car, okay? Right. Big one now. All right. All right. Turn to open that show where to open the book. Uh, you open the book to number six. Number six. Yeah. Number, seven. Oh, number seven. Number seven. Now you read. Read. Westfield Shopping Center. Here's one. Here's one shopping spree that's bound to be fun. I won't ask you to help me. Fact, fact. Okay. <laughs> You've got. Oh, no, a... I want to see him say shopping spree. <laughs> Hit one topping. Topping. <laughs> it's bound to be fun. You've got a one hundred and uh, excuse me, one thousand two hundred voucher to be sent anyway. Anyway, Westfield Shopping Town in your state. I guess you can send it to any place. Remember, Westfields have made shopping fun again. Is well, that right? That's it. You've done it. It's absolutely perfect. Thank you. Okay. Who is the youngest member of the Osmond Brothers? Jim. You got it. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry about that. Have a nice time. Hold on. I have a question. Just there. Uh, okay. Now. Oh, no, Wait a minute. Excuse me. It's birthday. Also tonight on Don's Wheel, have a What was the name of our first contestant? Brian. Brian. <laughs> Couldn't we give Brian something to remember his night with the husband? Yay! 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 <laughs> 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 also tonight on Don's Wheel, say. Also tonight on Don's Wheel, you have the chance of winning uh, the TAA Dunk Island Holiday 2, where for one week you'll enjoy relaxing and <laughs> I mean, just that tropical high one, you'll fly there and drop with tea in a friendly way. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Brian, what do you have to do with it? Have you one attached to it? <laughs> also, the FAF electronic sewing machine with more inbuilt features than any other in the world. The value is $840, and the incredible time saving FAF rotary ironer, the value is $820, and the total value is $1,660. And also, from the people who deal only in air conditioning, this Carrier Quiet Line refrigerated multi room air conditioner. This top of the range air conditioning unit that heats and cools is as fashionable as it's quiet. I think you look wonderful. Don't you think? You I think I, you should I look love like this. this all the time. At last, I've had the chance of wearing my hair as I normally do. <laughs> well, I think you look like, you look sort of like uh, any minute you're, you're going to say, Scarlet, do I look anything like Meryl? At all? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. he, the mustache, but he just shaved his off. Yeah, how is he, by the way? Is he he's okay? doing much better, he yeah. Uh -huh. is he's he, home right now. And, uh, is he watching? No, he's not here. He's in Oh, he's back at home. Oh, yeah. I see. I thought he was here. Yeah. Well, you'll see us in September. Say hello. Sure. <laughs> Hi, Meryl. Good to be with you. Uh, a commercial break? Yeah. We'll take a commercial break. Right. <laughs> and then we'll come right back with Rod Lake. Okay. okay. We are back. I must, uh, we must say something. The, uh, the Osmonds in Concert, which is the television special that's being shown 7.30 on Wednesday, uh, here in Melbourne and in Sydney is a world premiere, by the way. This program hasn't been seen anywhere else in the world yet. This is the first time it's going to be shown in Australia's experience in the world premiere. And again, I must say, watch it, because it's a terrific show and they have a, a great time out there. We had a lot of fun doing it. We really did. Tell me who the second contestant is. There's somebody on the phone here now. Let's see. It's 
Uh, Mr. B. DePaulo from Gladesville, uh, New South Wales. Right, Mr. B. DePaulo. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, Don. Hi. How you going? Good, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Everything okay? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Who am I talking to? Ben DePaulo here. Hey, Ben. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you tall, Ben? Am I tall? Yeah. No, I'm fair height, yeah. 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 Just a minute. Big Ben wants to talk to you. Hey. Hey, Hi, Big Ben. Hey, Bert. Uh, long since you rang. <laughs> what? Good, good to talk to you. Where are you from, Ben? Gladesville. Gladesville? Oh, New South Wales. Yeah, that's true. W would you like to say hello to Marie? Of course. Okay, I'll put you... Well, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Oh, hang on oh, a second. I want some qualifications yeah. first. Nobody just about right. this. Her father oh. would like to talk to you. Uh, okay. <laughs> hello, Ben? Yeah? Um, just exactly what did you have in mind here? Oh, I just want to talk to Marie, that's all. <laughs> I mean, uh, but, but about what? Oh, well, this and that. This and that? Yeah. Well, let's have a little less this and a little more that. If you're all the same. Okay. Just, just a minute, Ben. I'll let you say hello to Marie. Hello. Hold on a minute. This is Ben from Gladesville. Ben? Yeah. Hello, Ben. How are you? Thanks, Marie. How are you? I am fine. That's and... enough. That's enough. That's enough. No, 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 no. This is just the way it is at home. Exactly. <laughs> you know Ben from home? <laughs> you don't know Ben, do you? Yes, I know Ben. Mm. He rings me up quite often. I can imagine. Ben, yeah. ben skis over the mountain every weekend to come see Marie. Oh, I wish I could do that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what he does, right? Ben, what do you do? Oh, I'm a gardener. You're a gardener? Good. <laughs> <laughs> you need a good gardener? <laughs> Uh, is he supposed to spin this wall too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's no, no, amazing no. why he does it. You, you spin it. You actually spin it for. Find out a little more about it. Do you it, want me to spin this wheel for you? Yes, please. Okay. What would you like to win? No. What number oh, do you like well, to start? Um, oh, what do you? You have to start with a number. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a minute. Well, look. Let's all sit down. With okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, it's okay. All right. Now, first thing you have to ask him is you got to ask him what what do you think what 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 number would he like to start? Okay, Ben. What number would Can you like to start? We have a little music. Hey, 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 Okay, what's your favorite number? Uh, number four, please, Marie. Number four? That's a terrible number. <laughs> it's a very good number. Um, what's wrong with number four? Number. It's gone 44, Don's 54. It's a very lucky number. <laughs> and I've got 44 teeth, right? Okay. All right, you want to start with number four? Please. Ask him why. Why would you like to choose number four? Well, I chose number, choose number four, eh? Right? Well, it's a good even number. Oh, really? Well, so yeah. six and eight. What? What's wrong with nine? It's been good Don't to us. Don't pick on me. <laughs> even. even what? Even. Even what? It's a good even number. Nine's old, an even number, isn't it? How old are you, Ben? I'm 20, Marie. No. You're 20? Yeah. Well, that's, that's nice. <laughs> You're single, too. How old is he? 20. 20. Is he single? Single. There might be something wrong with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a gardener. Maybe he's a pansy. I don't know. It might be a I'm sorry, it was only like that. Hang on. Ben? Yeah? Listen, what, what number? You want number four? He wants number four. Oh, okay, Marie's going to set it on number four, no. and she's going to spit. Just help me out. Excuse me. Just... <laughs> Come on. Come on, big fella. We got to have to <laughs> Okay, you set it on number four, Marie. I'll give you the little sure, right And then. you spin it. So reach way high up, but be careful you let go. <laughs> Some people just keep going. Go ahead. Okay. Right. Price. Tell Ben what he wants. There, you tell him what he wants. See? Ben? Yes. What on earth is that? Yolamba. Yolamba, the oldest family owned winery. Yeah. Wi oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I beg your you pardon. Want... I'm sorry. Oh, Excuse me. He gave you the it's wrong. on the odd number. I beg your pardon. Here we go. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Such a fool. Let us carry you. <laughs> Let us carry you in comfort from the people who deal only in air conditioning. With this, this carrier, quiet, quiet line, line refrigerator, multi-room multi air conditioner, this top-of-the-range air conditioning unit, unit that heats and cools, cool. honey child, is this a special? Ha 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 ha
Right. Hang on a second. You can ask him the question. He can hear you. Ask him that question. What date marks the end of the financial year? Could he hear me? Did you hear that question, Ben? Uh -huh. Yeah? 30th of June. How about that? You got it right, okay? Good on you, Ben. Lovely stuff. Just a minute. Hold on. Can, can you what, Ben? Can I say goodbye to Marie? Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> no, not you, Bert. Not you. <laughs> Listen, I'll get you, Ben. <laughs> say goodbye to Ben, but don't be all day. Your brothers want to use the phone. Excuse us, we're going to have a little talk back here. <laughs> hey, Ben, are you very close to Sydney? Oh, yes. You are. Well, tell Sydney he's okay, too. He can come down here anytime. <laughs> We're going to be in Sydney. Uh, we, we leave here tomorrow. We go oh, tomorrow. That's right. I forgot. Yeah. They just gave us a little notice that's that said right. that you fellas... Yeah, Wait a minute. Show, then? Pardon? We have some tickets to your show? I think so. Yes, and you can buy them. So. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to give complimentaries out to Ben. He's a... I mean, after <laughs> all, since mania. he didn't get to spin the wheel, right? There's, there's eight concerts left in Sydney, Ben, all in Sydney, Capital Theatre, June the 6th, the 7th, the 9th, and the 10th, two concerts each night, 5.30 and 8.30. Why are the Capital Theatre? And there's some tickets available because they added the extra shows. That's oh, amazing. Okay. Yeah, they just I thought the bomb wanted our complete. No, no, no. <laughs> it's open air now, but the seats are wonderful. Yes, yes, you love it. Ben, Ben? Yes. Say goodbye. Okay. Goodbye, Ben. Bye, Ben. Bye, Ben. Nice Bye, talking ben. to you. Enjoy the prize, Ben. I didn't even ask you. We asked him a question, yes, didn't we? Yeah, whatever. You got the prize, Ben. If Look, you'd like Ben, to be on Don's hang the phone up. All you have to do is put your name and address on the back of an envelope and send to Don's Wheel, Post Office Box 333, okay. Richmond. This is the real fun part now, Marie. Hang on, we want to do something. Okay. Normally at the end of every show, and we're still going to do it at the end of the show because only this, tonight, Donnie Osmond's going to give away the gold ingot. Oh. But every, every, at the end of every show, every night, we give away the gold ingot. But we thought, see, oh, it's you shouldn't have done. It's, Lovely. It's not for you. Cute. Stick out your wrist. Oh. And that's that's for you for being such a good sport and for coming in here and, and putting up with oh, all our no, nonsense nice. and doing Aren't all that. Aren't they terrific? So you just have it. Lovely. Thank you. It's all gold. And it says ABC Gold. And it says Australian Billion Company. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Marie, just, just do us, would you do us one small favor? What's that? Don't wear it until you get out of the country. Will that be okay? Because we've got to, we've got to buy very special means. Fell off the back of a lady. That's Here's a, uh, <laughs> um, we have to reach in here now, and what we're selecting is the interstate contestant, and Bert selects the local contestant. But in this particular instance, we'll let you. Can you reach in here? Yeah, yeah, I think you sure. Can. Okay, so let it down there. Okay. Wait, wait. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. I got two. Oh, you got two. Just one. Yeah, okay. Okay. Now take one locally. Okay. Swimming with entries. <laughs> uh, I've got June Turner of Cardiff in New South Wales. Ah yes, and this is uh, this is migration spot for me. I've got Mrs. Joan Samartino. <laughs> Samartino of. Well, I gave it to him. <laughs> of of, uh, of Wyndham Street in Werribee, here that's in Victoria. It. Hey, listen, that's you t that's terrific tonight. Good, time. very funny stuff. You, you, all the family will be back, and so will you, to say goodbye in just a little while. And Donnie's going to give away the gold ingot. We got a little more show for you yet. Hang in there. We'll be right back. Okay, don't. Forget. Thank you for these outfits. They're a little more comfortable than the other ones. We I think that's it. terrific. Really I, you know, really we wanted you to get comfortable in here. I thought it looked better with the UGG boots, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've, had, uh, we've had some great experiences with uh, not only groups, but individuals. Uh, Sammy Davis, of course. Uh, we will never forget what he did. And uh, Dr. Hook. Uh, oh, we're coming back this year, by the way. Uh, Maniacs will be charging in here on us, too. And, of course, uh, um, the village people the other night. But, uh, again, I said it in the beginning of the show, and I really don't know how to tell you, uh, express what we feel in here, because, uh, you know, there are stars and there are stars, and usually the bigger people get, the, the bit more difficult they get to handle, and uh, a lot of people never see that on the camera, but I got to tell you, these folks are just the way they are, and there's no changing or anything. Uh, you you, know. uh, you uh, You picked up... Uh, you pick up the papers every day and you read about divorces and broken families and teenage drug problems and how the close family life seems to be a thing of the past and maybe we all ought to take a closer look at the Osmonds. Uh, of course, they're not only tuned with their music, but they're in tune with life itself. And uh, 
A big thank, thank you. Thank you. Where's the Inga? Where's the Inga? Just a second. We just thought we'd have Bert come out and join us all here for the night. Just, I just want to get this in because uh, Donnie will give, we'll pick out somebody. Okay. And uh, see who it is. Here it is. Here. Come here. Is it got a hook on it? Yeah. It does. Now I just pick out anyone. Yeah. Just any any lady that you want. Uh, any lady that you want. Wait a minute. Take okay. <laughs> well, not not literally any lady. I mean, just some lady that you look at and you think is nice. I mean. That Let's you... see. Who would like it? First of all. Oh no no. no. <laughs> Are you? I'm really klutzy tonight. I'm trying to get this all in. There you go. Okay. Okay. You got it? Okay. I got it. Up there somewhere and find a lady. Drum roll, uh... please. <laughs> Let's see. How about uh, up through here? <laughs> this lady right here. Okay. Okay. Just stand up a second. If I just do one thing, one thing. You have been so nice to us, yeah. and uh, you've given us these outfits and everything. We would like to give something to you, okay? Well, I would like personally to give something to you. Sure. Would you step over here for a second? Over. Oh, just right here. <laughs> now, I've been uh, I've been watching you, the way you uh, the host a show and everything. And you're, yeah. you're terrific, okay? You really are. But one little bit of advice, okay? <laughs> Gotta loosen up a little bit. You, you're loose, a little loose. stiff, just a little stiff. Take your coat off for a second, okay? Isn't he? It's just a little stiff, okay? It's just go like this. Uh, 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 like uh, 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 Take your tie off. Take uh, your tie off. Okay. Okay. Sure. Now I have invented something for people like you. Yeah. It's called the handy dandy Donny Osmond Miracle Cream for boring people. <laughs> a miracle cream for boring people. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, I've, as a matter of fact, I've got some right here. Um, have you ever wondered what you would look like with a mustache? Doesn't he look good with a mustache? Yeah. Now, now, you never know. You ever, have you ever had a beard? No. You think you would look good in a beard? Yeah. Do you have another one? Here we go. <laughs> Now, he's an angel, isn't he? Just a pure angel. We've got to give him a halo. <laughs> Donnie Osmond is a warm, wonderful person. Now, now, you don't have a tie on. Well, we can put that a tie back on. Like that. And we fix a little tie right there. There's no belt. That's great for shoes, don't Hey, don't do that, please, my brother.